My name is Carl Todd, I'm a registered osteopath and what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, a particular component of my functional integrated approach using advanced muscle energy technique to treat a segmental level of the cervical spine. Very often patients present to me with acute or chronic neck and shoulder pain, perhaps from sitting behind computers all day long or from a, a dynamic action such as a trauma like a road traffic accident. What's important is that we, we, we clear all the restrictions of their anterior and posterior muscle chain first of all, but very often what we're left with are specific tender points uh, that, 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 that are very symptomatic and, and very restrictive in range of movement. In this case here we're going to look at the, the highest point in the, in the, in the uh, cervical spine, the occipital atlantal joint, where the occiput meets the atlas. This movement essentially follows uh, type 1 spinal mechanics. It side bends to one side and rotates the opposite way. It also has a certain amount of nodding movement of flexion and extension. And to assess the joint, what I need to do is have my patient in a supine position and if I come in behind and cradle the occipital supine with my fingers, I can take my patient's head into a neutral position, just ask them to relax and I'm going to translate to the left and translate to the right. So when I translate to the left, I'm side bending right and rotating left. When I translate the opposite way, I'm side bending left and rotating right. What I'm feeling here with my patient is I've got good translation going to my left, but restricted going to the right. If I drop the head now down into extension, that movement improves. And if I take it into flexion, that movement is a little bit more restricted again. So essentially what we're dealing with here is a segmental dysfunction in the occipital lateral joint that is restricted side bending and rotating to the right. So to treat this, what I need to do is come in so I get nice control and I'm going to use my monitoring hand onto the occipital supine. I'm going to come in and stabilize the patient's head so they feel comfortable. I'm going to flex the cervical spine until I feel tension on the barrier underneath my fingers. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my hand around the head so it comes onto the chin. I can encourage a little bit of side bending and rotation until I feel tension in the barrier. What I'm going to ask my patient to do is push your chin just into my fingers gently so she contracts the cervical muscles. And relax me please. When she relaxes, I'm going to rotate and side bend a little more into the barrier. Contract gently again, two to three seconds, and relax and rotate and side bend into the barrier. And again, please. And I will repeat this maybe three to five times until no further progress is made. And when I feel I've taken it as far as I can, I bring it back into a position, come back in again, take hold of the patient's head and encourage a translation and now we've got better translation going to to the right. I drop it into extension, take it into flexion, that's better. 